Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video for my YouTube channel and blog. I'm a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator and have been so for uh, 22 years. Can you believe that? My gosh, time has gone by so much. But today I'm going to be showing you another card using the new Eastern Beauty stamp set and the new Eastern Medallion Thinlets from um, Stampin' Up! And these will both be found in the brand new 2017-2018 annual catalog. You can start purchasing from this catalog on June 1st and then you can peek inside and see all the great things that are available for you to choose from. So let's get started with today's card. I just wanted to do something I thought it was a little different than everything that I've seen out on Pinterest. Had a fun time creating this and I hope that you like it. It's a little bit different. So what we're going to be using is our Dapper Denim cardstock, and this is four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. Then I have two pieces of very vanilla cardstock, and they are both three and three quarter by five, and one will be for the inside, and one will be for the front of the card. Very little stamping. I just didn't even realize until. You know, I started putting all this together that I had hardly stamped anything. But it's kind of fun to do a card like that for a change. I'm also going to be using a piece of Dapper Denim um, ruched ribbon. I'll be using the Dapper Denim ink pad and our one and a quarter inch circle punch. And I'm going to be using one of our new tassels. And this is part of the Eastern Beauty um, Mm, sweet, I guess is what they're going to call it. Um, there's tassels, designer series paper, um, stamp pads, uh, uh, gold vinyl stickers, all kinds of, of products are included in this Eastern Elegant suite of products. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we'll do is stamp this little design in each one of the quarters. I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you are, it would be awesome if you're watching on YouTube, if you could go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I, you know, and if you'd like to leave me a comment, I love to hear positive feedback from everyone. So we'll go ahead and we'll stamp this in the corner. And you may think that you're not getting a really good stamp with this, but the stamp is etched and is designed to look less than perfect. So sometimes you'll get a lighter image and I just think that that's really nice. It just kind of adds to the difference in the or the uniqueness in the stamp. So we're done with that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, snail adhesive, take the adhesive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my ribbon. So I'm just going to run a little bit at the top and a strip at the bottom. And then you just take the ribbon and what's really nice is the adhesive will hold the ribbon down nicely for you. you just adhere that down. Then to make this portion of the card, what I have done is I'm going to take my Big Shot and the magnetic platform and a piece of the gold foil paper and I'm going to run this framelit through my Big Shot and I'm going to just put a die on top or a cutting plate on top and run that through the Big Shot and this is what I get and I ran it through twice so that I could um, make a background for this little piece of designer series paper. Now the designer series paper that I ran, I ran this through the exact same die and I want it to have a little bit of a border, a gold border around it. And so in order to achieve that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dot or this shape and I'm going to cut diagonally. Cut all these little pieces out just like that 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to adhere them to the back of this designer series paper. And to do that I'm going to use my Tombow Multi-Glue because it allows a little slip time and I want to be able to have this on so that I can give a chance to move things around and get it exactly the way I want it. So all I'm going to do is make this so that I have a nice little border around each segment of the die. If you're interested in any of the products that I'm using today, you can go out to my blog at KathleenStamps.com and there will be links at the bottom of the blog posts and those links will take you directly to my online store and you'll be able to click on each individual item that you might be interested in. Okay, so we have just one more to go. Alright, so there we have that little accent around each one. Okay, I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry for a second and then previously using, oh, I'll have to decide which die I used. <laughs> okay, previously using this circle die right here, it's kind of hard to see what the design is, but what I did is I punched it out of the gold foil paper just like we did the other and then I took my dapper denim and my inch and a quarter circle punch and I punched out a circle and then I also punched this out with a circle so that they will be able to be mounted on top of each other. So let's go ahead and add our glue and again, I'm just going to add a little bit of the Tombow Multi-Glue. It doesn't take a lot to adhere this down, and you really don't want to have the glue, you know, kind of oozing out. So it's better if you're using just small little dots of glue. And then we'll just go ahead and mount this on. get it off of my fingers. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll get that all set. And then this is going to be mounted in the center of the medallion that we made. So that'll just take a second for that to dry. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can go ahead and adhere, <coughs> excuse me, get a drink of water. Mm. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can adhere this to the front of our card. I just want to get that nicely centered. Now we're going to apply dimensionals to the back. This new Eastern Palace suite of products, you know, in the beginning I thought, oh my gosh, it's just a medallion. I don't think there's anything I can do with that. It was just very different than anything I had seen before and I discovered that once I got my hands on it and started playing with it, what a great product it is. So we'll go ahead and take all of these off. Okay, now that I've taken off all the backing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, tassel, I'm going to take off one of these, and I'm going to put my tassel on the card or on this medallion and all I'm going to do is hook it down with a dimensional 
put that back down and that will hold it in place like that okay all right so now we can go ahead and just mount this on our card Pull this over a little bit. It is sticking out a little more than I would like, so I'm just going to stick this back underneath. See if I can do this. There we go. Okay, so that way you don't have to see the little ring if you don't want to. All right, so there's our card. Now the last thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to adhere, oh my gosh, this is just being really stubborn for me. <laughs> okay, let's try again. There we go. Now everything is settled, finally. Okay, so then the last thing that we're going to do, or the next to the last, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my panel on the inside. And then this could be stamped with any kind of breed, any kind of greeting that you would like, and you could make this as a birthday card. It could be a masculine card, It'd be a great masculine card. So you could go ahead and use it for that. Now, um, if you want to have the sequins on, if it's a masculine card, I think it would be okay. But if you're just not interested, you can just leave the sequins off, and what you've done will be just fine. So we'll get my little pickup tool, and then I'm going to put my, I'm going to come in just a little bit tighter, and I'm going to put my sequins on. And one last sequin. right there okay and there's our card all finished well I hope that you like this and I hope that you um, give me a thumbs up with my video and I really appreciate you stopping by until next time <laughs>